so right now I am with an absolute legend and I'm not just talking about for Northern Ireland I'm talking about football I'm with David Healy how's it going on Hi, how has uh, Windsor Park changed since you played it because obviously there's yeah. you know, a bit of construction going on it's not fully built has it yeah. changed a lot it's gonna look so much better and no, you know, it's, it, it's gonna be a stadium that I can be proud of come to, you know bringing my, my kids and hopefully grandkids and coming along and everybody else bringing the kids along a, a stadium that we can all be proud of but I just want to speak to you about your hat tricks mm -hmm. I mean you scored a very notable hat trick against Spain in 2008 um, how did it feel scoring against that team in the European qualifier? You know that night we showed great character and a huge passion to go and not only deliver a performance but you know ultimately at the end deliver a you know a huge result. All right, we're going to crack on yep. and we'll look at some of the parts of the field. So yep. Let's go. On this specific patch here, you scored yep. a, a, a pretty special goal against a pretty special keeper. You want to run us through that? What exactly happened? The Spain game, we were we were one 0 down. We were two one down. Yeah. You know, it showed great character and it was two each. And I actually looked over the old guy and I seen uh, Warren Feeney at the time, who was a striker, sort of taking his top off. And I was thinking, I'm going to get the hook here. You know, I was actually, <laughs> I was actually feeling a bit leggy. I got there about here, legs had gone. I see this off his line, I just thought, I'm going to have to hit this. He just went for it. And I went for it. And as you say, I can still see him scrambling back, trying to get a touch on it. Slow motion the bar. moment. Slow motion moment. I mean, the fans are running down from 15 rows. They might celebrate at any point, so, you know, celebrate. I just do this as if to say, once it really kicks in when you're there, I'm thinking, you know, what's just happened? Wait, before we crack on, there was another moment over here, wasn't there? Once I scored the goal here against them, you know, my life had changed, you know, incredibly. Completely. Completely, you know, people started spotting me when I pitched it, when the thing signed. I still recall English, English fans that night, you know, the old, are you Scotland in disguise? It was a win at the end of the day and a clean sheet. A win and a clean sheet and Can't say that goal that. and people always still to this day talk about that. Now just talk us through the goal a little bit, like what was going through your mind when you got to this point here? I was wondering, then you get your head down and trust yourself to, you know, to hit it as sweet as it did that and then Paul Robinson got you know, a hand you on it. it sweet and, and I hit it sweet, but he got a hand on it and people say it wasn't the greatest strike, but it was certainly one of the biggest. All right, so we spoke earlier about how good the fans are here, but how good are they really? How much noise do they make? How passionate are they? I think they've been nominated and probably won the best fans in Europe maybe a couple of times, so that says it all. What these fans give us here, it's, and it's always been, I think they actually have a big banner saying the 12th man, yeah. and they've always been that ever, ever since I've been in, uh, involved with the, uh, the team. Yeah. David, man, you've been an absolute hero. No problem. There you have it. We spoke to David Healy. He takes on a tour of the stadium. He spoke about some of his most amazing goals. We spoke about the fans and how passionate they are here. And it just feels good to be in Belfast and really experience what Northern Ireland and the national team's about.